Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. Well today, you're getting a twofer, two different videos. And so, as I said in my earlier video, today, March 13, was the last day of the 38-mile march for ratification of the ERA in the state of Arizona. Before floor started, I distributed pieces of paper to different house members so they could introduce guests in the gallery who were marchers for the Equal Rights Amendment. I passed out about 10 or so of these introductions. There was probably 30 or so uh, ERA marchers in the gallery wearing white and wearing their ERA sashes. And so um, I introduced a young woman from Legislative District 1 and uh, she said that she was there because she was so inspired by her mother fighting for equal rights in the 1970s and 80s. And she said that her mother would be pissed off that we still hadn't passed the Equal Rights Amendment in 2019. So other women stood up and introduced women in the gallery, marchers for the Equal Rights Amendment. And after a couple of introductions, uh, the Republican leadership decided to suppress our speech. They gaveled down multiple people, including Leader Fernandez and Mitzi Epstein and others in the Democratic Party. And so what was ironic was that here we had the gallery half filled with women who were marching for equal rights for women. And what they saw was a disgusting display on the floor of the house where elected women were not allowed to speak. We were called out of order. We said we were breaking the rules. Now you'll remember that the Republicans changed the rules for speaking times in January because the women were so effective with their speech in the last two years. And so points of personal privilege to introduce somebody are only one minute. None of us went over that one minute. What they were objecting to was the content. It pained the Republicans so much to hear about equal rights for women that they said we could not say why the women were here, we could only introduce them. That is against the rules. The rules say a time frame. they don't suppress content. What happened today on the floor of the house was a disgusting display of suppression of freedom of speech. And those women got a big lesson about patriarchy in the Arizona House today. They were there to fight for equal rights and they saw that even people like me, their elected representatives, don't have equal rights in the Arizona House. And that's wrong. 